go over to Jim. Mike, I know we kind of ask you this after every game, but do you feel like those shots are ones you're happy with in terms of the, the shots you guys miss? Are you generally pretty happy with the type of looks you guys were getting? I mean, we got to watch the film. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll go back and we'll watch it and we'll see. Um, I think a lot of them are good looks, open looks. Um, you know, I, but I do think, you know, our, we shoot the best when it's inside out, um, especially to start the game. I mean, obviously we, 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 I don't know if it was, we got sped up. Um, like I said, they're a good team. They're, you know, a good defensive team, but we, you know, we got sped up. We can't let teams speed us up like that. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things, like I said, we'll watch the film, see if they're good shots. Um, I know for a fact that I shot a couple of bad ones, um, at the top of the key, but, um, like I said, we'll watch the film. We'll figure it out. Um, like I said, honestly, I, as much as it sucks that we lost this game, um, I'm, I'm really proud of that effort. And again, shout out to Meech because he carried us. So um, we got to keep that effort at the end of the game going to start the game. Um, and I think guys have experienced it. They've seen it. Um, and it's something that we can continue to carry on moving forward. Tom? Micah, do you uh... – a lot of these losses have had the same kind of pattern to them. Um, do you, are you still firmly believe this can be a, a good team in March and make something happen in March? And if so, what has to change? Absolutely. Um, the biggest thing is just, it, I think it's obvious, it's offense. Um, let me see what we got here. Uh, shooting 34% from the field. I mean, you make that as, a, you know, and then 32%, shout out to, again, shout out to Meech, because we were not at 32% until Meech at the end of the game. Um, but shooting 34% from the field, um, it's not good enough against any high-level team. And if you bring that percentage up to, honestly, you bring it up to 36%, we probably win that game today. So um, it's just offensively. And, 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 you know, not getting sped up in the early on and, and making sure we can, you know, Obviously, teams are going to throw punches, but we got to be able to respond better. Um, we playing in a hole is tough, so um, it's just one of those things we got to be better with. And like I said, that effort today—if we can continue that and carry that on moving forward at the end of the game—I um, think we'll be okay. Josh, Micah, between Illinois not having IO, the amount of offensive rebounds you guys were able to get, the turnovers that you forced—do you feel like you guys kind of wasted an opportunity to some extent here to kind of put a good team away? I mean, I've, absolutely. Um, but, you know, like, but they're still a great team. I mean, obviously, Io is an All-American, but, um, you know, they're still a good team. But it's just, I, I remember going back to last time we played at Illinois, they also had 20 turnovers. They had 20 turnovers again today. So it's, yeah, honestly, it comes down to making shots, not getting sped up, being able to score inside and then hit shots at the end. Um, it, at the end of the day, it's, it's what it comes down to, and we got to be better with it. Carly? Michael, what did you see in terms of the technical foul at the end? Um, the, one of the Illinois players was just in our huddle. Um, I don't know if I, there's not really much to talk. It was literally just he was in our huddle and just trying to, I don't know, be annoying or whatever. Um, there wasn't like literally, like, I, I don't know why they called a double tech, but I mean, I don't want to get into it. There's not, it wasn't anything crazy that he was just in the huddle and, and coach guard, you know, wasn't happy about it. And so he got the rest involved, but um, it wasn't anything crazy. Um, there wasn't any bad words or, you know, ill will spoken towards anyone. It was just, he was in the huddle. So um, that's about all I can tell you. George. Micah, I mean, entering today, it was three games left. Now it's two. Is is there any panic, any stress on the team that we have, like, we have to win games to get some momentum and get some consistency heading into the Big Ten tournament and then Mark? Um, I wouldn't say panic. Um, like I said, I, I as like I said, as much as it sucked that we lost the game today, I was really happy with the effort. Again, shout out to Meech because he sparked us and he got us going. Um, I really can't speak enough to that. Um, and how important that was. And um, it shows you what kind of a team we are when we shoot the ball well. <laughs> like, it's just – or at least like one person shoots the ball well. That's the kind of team we can be. So it's, it's just one of those things. That effort at the end, guys diving on the floor, causing turnovers, you know, on, like just different things like that. Like, that's the kind of effort we need to have from the jump. 
And I think guys, we've, like I said, we've seen it, we've experienced it and we got to continue with that going forward from the, from the, from the jump ball. So it's, you know, it's, I wouldn't say it's panic. Like I said, we got hot. And, and I remember like at Minnesota last year, we got smacked. And then we came back. I think we beat Michigan state and lost at Iowa with a close one. And then we went on our run. So and it was eight games and there's a lot more than it. There's more than eight games left in the season if we go all the way. So um, today's tough, but you know what, that effort at the end, I was proud of and I'm happy about, because if we can, can, if we can do that from the jump, it'll be good. All right. Thanks, Micah.